Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new series which is Lightroom Classic and today I'm going to show you the what is Lightroom and why should we use it and number one or what is that this is a professional or pro editing software for photographers and the editors and why you are using it this because of this is convenient time saving and you can edit a large number of photo in short time and you can give the same effects in same short time and you can export large number of photos in the like uh, bulk photos or export that so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so in this portion we are getting the new or file options and edit options, develop options, photo settings, tools, view, window and help. In this portion if we go to the file you are getting the new and open catalog. So other software like uh, designing type software you are getting here new document or new artboard whatever. In this portion that means in Lightroom you are getting here the new catalog options. If you press the new catalog you will get the new catalog over there. What is the catalog? Catalog means the different types. Suppose if you make the different types like uh, your wildlife photography in one type uh, fashion photography in another type surreal photography in different types so different type categories just called the catalogs so category from the catalog that means the catalog comes from the category actually so if you create that new category or new catalog and you can write down suppose the photo edit I'm just giving the demo one you can give the proper one whichever do you like and hit the create button okay it will take time because of I already using the catalog which is uh, already I made it and the new catalog is totally blank one that means the blank like artboard or whatever so from here in this catalog you can uh, input your photos from your directory uh, go into the file and here is the import option in this portion you are getting the two things which is the photo and video yes you are listening this uh, right things that means you can edit the photo and video video editing in this lightroom is only for the color correction like um, you can do the color correction you can do the exposure contrast brightness whatever you can edit you can you can't cut and um, uh, like uh, join the uh, sound in this okay import the photos and video and it will take to you in a directory suppose you have a folder which is your photography and suppose i have the raw type folder that means i have the raw images in this folder and here in the upper side all images you can select all images at a time or you can select the individual image by clicking the tick mark it's totally up to you i'm selecting over here the all photos and import that so in this portion it's a saving time suppose uh, you want to uh, like uh, you have a deadline to submit your photographs and um, you don't have uh, no time to edit uh, in a one by one if you want uh, uh, the same effect in one photo and other photos that means uh, you have to edit the thousand of photos you want to apply the same uh, like tone or effects in all photos lightroom is the best software for these because of uh, here is the options you can select or you can edit one photo you can apply that things into other photos so I'll show you step by step how to do that uh, first thing is first so I'm sharing over here all the knowledge what I learned over there so here uh, actually I got some photos over here now so in the this one is the library portion and here is a development portion suppose you want to edit this photo or this photo or this one actually so going to the develop options so these develop options come from the oldest one because of when we are using the film camera after capturing the photo film going to the develop the or dark room and uh, photographers do the development of the film and then we got the picture so lightroom just follow that word which is the develop one so after going to the development or develop uh, you are getting here some uh, basics or some panels appears actually so from here you can edit all the stuff suppose i want to make the highlight uh, down a little bit so here 
and the shadow a little bit down and exposure a little bit down okay and then vibrance a little bit here tone curve over here any kind of tone curve here rgb or uh, like uh, individual tone curve so here i'm just logging over here i made this one okay after that colors from here hue saturation luminance you know you which color will be saturation percentage of the color and luminance is the intensity of the color from the hue portion i want to change the green hue you can do that actually i'm in a saturation portion and from the hue panel you can change the things and from here from the basic options you can add some shadow add some highlight little bit you can close this one you can close this one and you can open up by pressing the small triangle from the saturation panel you can do that and the luminance here if you want you can change up the luminance suppose you want to increase the yellow or green like this so from the basic panel i here is the dh options so i will show you this one uh, like a uh, step by step and in depth but i want to show you how uh, or what types of work you can do in a short time suppose i want to apply this one in a color grading from here and from the basic panel i want to make this one a little bit cool type okay that's good and all the steps and let's see the before one and after one here is the before and after things and let's see here so in a phase we have some works uh, so here is the detailing options you can reduce the noise and you can reduce the color noise let's see okay that's good and here we already edited this photo and now we want to apply this photo to others so this one or this one so select this one press the shift and select all the desired photo you want to apply and here the sync options and synchronize when you are pressing the synchronize it will just synchronize or apply the same preset to other photo which you already selected let's see this one and next one let's see next one next one already used so this photo was like that before one and like this the before one was like that you're getting the same piece it and same thing applied so we got already like couple of seconds over there and we already edited the 10 photos so this one is the advantage of the lightroom so you will be benefited by these tutorials hope that so that's all for today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers i'm asmr signing out today and bye bye